Now, one of Britain's leading COVID scientists says Britain has got itself into a terrible mess with mass testing for the virus. Professor Sunetra Gupta of Oxford University is the epidemiologist who, you may remember, co-authored the so-called Great Barrington Declaration. It called for focused protection of vulnerable people to avoid damaging lockdowns. Well, writing in the papers today, Professor Gupta said it was time for the government to reconsider testing millions of people, given a recent study which showed that a third a third, a third of those who test and are found positive on a PCR were not actually contagious. Well, joining me now, one of the most widely respected voices in the COVID debate, that is Dr. Carol Sikora. Uh, Carol Sikora, welcome to you and appreciate your time uh, as ever. Um, she does make the point, Professor Gupta, in her piece in The Telegraph, that there is obviously a role for testing. On an individual level, it remains a vital, an important, maybe not vital, an important resource for individuals. If you're going to visit a frail relative, take a test and work out what your status is. But across the piece, across a population, it's less useful, she says. What say you? So I'm an oncologist. What do I know about infection control? But it strikes me that we teach medical students on day one when they come to the hospitals to do their clinical work. Don't do diagnostic tests if, you're not going to, if it's not going to change what you do. And that's the key to the whole of medicine. So doing a COVID test in someone that's healthy, unless there's some reason for doing it, makes no sense. You're going to find information, but we have all the information. We know what's happening. We know the Omicron, we know the uh, other variants out there off Omicron, and we know it's a relatively benign disease compared to what it was at the beginning uh, with, with, when we started in, in the long, heady days way back in February of uh, 2020. So I think she's right. She's absolutely right. I'm a great admirer of hers and her partner, Carl Hainigan, a partner in science, Carl Hainigan, who, again, from Oxford, and they've really contributed to the whole debate around COVID. What puzzles me, Colin, is why the, the official scientists advising the government say, let's continue. These are the same people that wanted to lock us down lock this Christmas, just the one that's just gone, because they said the NHS would be overwhelmed. It wasn't overwhelmed. So let's listen to people like Sunetra and, and ignore the doom mongers that really want to keep us locked up forever. And I, I listened to you, Carol Sakura, before Christmas. We talked and, and you said just... Don't, when, with Omicron, don't focus too much on the, on the case figures. Focus squarely on hospitalizations. I did that with the daily figures, took the viewers through those daily figures, and they told a story that you predicted would follow, which is that Omicron, Omicron though very transmissible, was not particularly lethal. I just wonder, and I've been grappling with this one for a while, uh, you know, the modelers who do the modelling, they do it all in good faith, we presume. Can there ever be... Uh, any kind of moral hazard to getting it wrong. I mean, we don't want to in any way stop th the processes that they go through. But it seems to me, and I'm sure it will seem to some people working in oncology like you, that the neglect of things like cancer diagnosis, uh, the, because modelling has been too pessimistic when it comes to COVID, can you introduce a cost element to that for the people who mismodel? You can. And the cost is other diseases than COVID, which are bound to suffer, together with the fear of the population, the mental health of the population. And it's just so easy to get an army of bureaucrats to close things down. And we've seen it, whether it's police, whether it's immigration control, everywhere, all around the world. You've got these petty bureaucrats trying to implement, in many cases, completely illogical policy. And the testing, which comes to the end when you return from abroad on uh, next week, uh, or actually tomorrow, the 11th, uh, Friday, the 11th, uh, is a good thing. Why should we test them? What are you going to do about it? If you're positive, you don't have to go into isolation anymore. Uh, what are you going to do? So testing makes no sense unless it has a purpose. And, uh, you know, I think we've come to the end. We'll never get out of it, Colin, if we don't come to the end. Carol Sikora, really good to talk to you. Appreciate your time.